as part of ways of identifying with the plight of the victims of flood, Ondo State Governor Luarotimi Akiredolu constituted two separate committees to visit the flood-ravaged area in the two local government areas of Ilaje and Eseudo. The story was the same in all communities visited, including primary and secondary schools. Health facilities and churches were submerged by flood, sacking residents and school children. The flood victims in the two local government areas appealed to government at all levels to come to their rescue by providing necessary relief materials for them to cushion the effects of the natural disaster. When the, the flood came in the night about uh, eight days ago, so we tried our best, we couldn't get uh, any, any answer, so it flooded everywhere. So a lot of our properties, our farm, our fishing net, everything are carried away by the, destroyed by the flood. So that's why we are calling on the government to come to our aid and help us out. Reacting to the degree of devastation, the chief of staff to the governor, Olubenga Ale, lamented that it is beyond what the Ondo state government can single-handedly address, but assured that Governor Kiredolu would work to secure the attention of the federal government through the National Emergency Maintenance Agency, NEMA, to come to the aid of the affected people. It is dehumanizing. Uh, we can see how people are suffering. People, I, I, I even doubt whether they can cook from the way we see here. So the suffering is much. We sympathize with them. I want to assure them that the government and the, uh, uh, is with the people of the uh, Rivana area at this critical time, at this time of their suffering. With the visit of the Ondo State Government Assessment Committee, the flood victims are optimistic that they will soon heave a sigh of relief. From the Southern Senatorial District of Ondo State, Jonah Omowa reporting.